So a bit of a deeper dive for, I suppose, the tech heads out there who just want to know how to save a work. Um, and I totally get that because it's exactly what draws everybody to reaction engines. It's what we do. Um, so essentially, we've, we're traveling at Mach 5, say. We've got cold air outside. But what happens is as this gets drawn through the intake, it goes through a series of shock waves. And as it goes through these shock waves, the shock waves compress it, slow it down. So in here, it's subsonic and it's very hot as you remember. So we take this subsonic hot air and it gets drawn through our pre-cooler, cools down to minus 150, something like that. And um, when it gets into the core of that pre-cooler, we've got cool, dense air. And we take that into the core engine, uh, compress it further through a turbo compressor system, and then uh, pump it into the, uh, into the, into the combustion chamber but simultaneously we get the kind of extracted heat from that helium loop um, driving the driving the turbine machinery and um, re-injecting heat back into the hydrogen so that we can improve the efficiency of the burning in the, in the combustion chamber. Um, and the key advantage of this kind of, uh, this design, I suppose, the design of this engine is that we can actually separate out each part of the engine into separate modules. So, We've got the kind of intake here, that's kind of one bit, and then you've got the pre-cooler, uh, that's another bit, and then the core engine, and then the nozzle and combustion chamber. And so essentially what this means is that we, when we're testing Sabre, um, we don't have to just build the whole of the Sabre engine, chuck it on a plane, cross our fingers and hope for the best in a flight test. We can actually break it down into chunks, manageable chunks, ground test each each system um, independently and then do integrated tests later on. Um, so, you know, out of this, we've, we've tested a pre-cooler. We've done a, a pretty substantial amount of work into the, into the nozzles design as well. And we're currently testing the core engine with our uh, demonstrator program, which I'll chat about again in a minute. Um, but the key part, the key takeaway is that we, we've designed an engine that can go from standstill from zero to Mach 25 with the ability to use both atmospheric air and onboard oxygen. So it's an all-in-one solution. 